Hello everybody and welcome to another video on the channel. Um, a lot of you have been asking for more tutorials on Bybit's trading bots. We already looked at some of the simple ones like the grid bots um, before, futures, spot grid bot. But today we're going to dive into something a little bit more advanced and that's the futures combo bot. I don't think people normally talk about that very much because it's a bit of an exotic one. But if you are um, diving into bots, you want to understand what they all are and all mean. Um, before we get started, remember this is a futures trading tool, so futures are different from spot trading. They use leverage, they can be liquidated, they are much riskier. And this tutorial is for educational purposes only, so if you decide to try it out, always start small and understand fully what you're getting into there. If you want to support the channel, there is a link in the video description and comment section. That's a Bybit partner link. We cooperate with them and you can um, join there if you like to and try it out and you get a 10% discount on your trading fees for the first 30 days. Now let's start. What makes the futures combo bot different? Now we'll start with the basics. A spot grid bot that you can find here as well um, works within a price range. So you might say buy Bitcoin when it drops to 110k and sell it when it reaches 120k. Very, very simple. The bot will keep buying low and selling high in that range. It's simple and works only with one coin. I mean, yeah, you could use other coins as well, but you, you just have one coin. The futures combo bot, however, is different. Yeah, let's click on it. It's different. Um, instead of just one coin and one direction, you can combine multiple futures positions, longs and shorts even, if you want to, if that makes sense in crypto, it's a bit tricky. But again, it's an advanced tool. You could also just go long on all of them, but you can combine them in one strategy. For example, you could go long on Bitcoin and at the, at the same time, you just go short on Ethereum. The bot manages these trades together like a basket of positions and it can rebalance them automatically. So when you create the bot, you can choose AI strategy or you can select manual. The AI strategy gives you Bybit suggestion, but today we'll use manual so you can see and control every setting because my view is if you want to use that, whether you decide to use AI at the end, you know, eventually, um, you still want to understand what it all means and what it does. So let's go to manual. Here, direction and weight. So here you decide what contracts to trade. So for example, let's go long, BTC, USDT, you could go short ETH USDT. I'm not sure if that makes so much sense. There can be potentially, um, I don't know, market developments where that might make sense. Let's just go along both, right? Um, but again, you, you can go long and short. And um, yeah, you can even assign a percentage. So we can say Bitcoin 50%, Ethereum 50%. That means half of your funds go into each position. You can also add or remove contracts. So maybe you can add Solana or you can add XRP. Yeah, and then you have additional ones. So you have a basket. Um, think of it like building your own custom strategy with different coins or, well, rather futures contracts. But we'll keep it simple. We just leave it at two. Now then leverage, and that's a big one. Leverage lets you control, of course, you know, if you don't know that now, you know, it lets you control more money than you actually put in. So if you choose 5x leverage, then a 1% move in the market is a 5% move for you. If you said 20x, which you can do, I think, yeah, you can do that, um, which I wouldn't recommend, but you can do that, yeah. Um, it, again, it depends on the, you know, you could just put, a, I don't know, $21 in uh, USDT, right, and 20x leverage. That is not really much more risk than going small leverage with a higher total investment, okay? Again, you need to understand what you're getting into there, but the, the overall risk is really um, the overall position size, right? Leverage and your total investment, that combined. Yeah, you can have a massive position size, total investment, and no leverage or one or two X, and it's still high risk if the position size is too large, right? So the leverage itself doesn't determine the risk. It's the total investment combined with the leverage. Um, and let me know in the comments if you want me to do a, a deeper video about that. But yeah, sometimes people don't understand that. They just think higher leverage is always more risk. Not automatically. Now, again, um, if, if you set 20x, a 1% market move becomes 20% in your account. So it sounds exciting, but the danger is if the market moves against you, you can lose everything in that position if you don't have a stop. So that's called liquidation. For beginners, I recommend sticking to very low leverage. 
So maybe 2x or 3x until you fully understand how it works. Yeah, and you choose a small position. You, you might anyway want to start with other bots, which maybe are, you know, sort of more beginner friendly, like a grid bot for sport and futures before getting into a combo bot. But it's something you might want to try out. You know, I'm just telling you here how the tool works. And then again, of course, you know, let, let's go low leverage. And then we have to select the total investment. So that's how much money you want to allocate to the bot. Um, the minimum is displayed here. Yeah, so 134, it depends on the leverage as well. So I could just go with 150 USDT here for demo purposes. And um, always use only what you can afford to lose, right? Um, again, afford to lose always sounds stupid, but it is what it is, you, you know. Um, you know, when you're learning, you might make a mistake. So keep it small um, and use a stop loss, very important. Now let's talk about the trailing stop, which many people ignore, but it's very powerful. It's actually recommended here by Bybit as well. People often don't understand how it works. So a trailing stop is like a stop loss that moves with the market. So for example, let's say Bitcoin pumps and your trade is up 30%. If you, if you set a trailing stop at 10%, it will move up as your position grows. So if Bitcoin suddenly reverses, you keep profit locked in. Yeah, very, very important. Um, it also says here trailing stop monitors the account's net value in real time and calculates the exit line based on a drawdown set by the user. If there's a 20% drawdown, then obviously here you've got the net values I don't need to read through. Um, and it explains you the, the exit lines. So the final net value may vary due to market fluctuations. So, but it's, it's you know, recommended to have that. And then we've got the auto rebalance. Um, also an important tool. Or maybe, you know, Maybe to make it very clear here about the, the trailing stop, um, you know, what does 5% and 99% mean? So a small number like 5% means the bot locks in profits very quickly, basically, but you risk getting stopped out early. A large number like 50% means you give the trade more room to breathe, but you might give back bigger profits if the market reverses. Yeah, 99% um, basically means you, you only cut it when the position almost goes all the way back down. And it's about balance, you know, tighter trailing stops means safer, yeah, but you get stopped out quicker and looser trailing stops more potential profit, yeah, but also you don't get stopped out that, that often. Um, in crypto, usually what can make sense, but that's a very general statement now, is smaller position size, but then loosen the stop a bit because of the volatility, yeah, but you have to try that out for yourself. Now, then we talk about order rebalance. Um, and this is one of the most unique features here of the combo bot. Um, you don't find that on the other bots. So let's say you're 50% um, 50, 50 long on Bitcoin and 50% long on Ethereum. Um, now Bitcoin explodes while Ethereum doesn't move. Suddenly your long is huge compared to the Ethereum, like the Bitcoin long is huge compared to the Ethereum long. And your portfolio is kind of out of balance, right? So auto rebalance fixes that, it adjusts the sizes back to your chosen percentages. And you can do that in two ways, by threshold. For example, if one side grows more than 5%, you can select five, you know, you can select anything really, but 5% compared to the other, the bot rebalances. That's useful in volatile markets like crypto when things move fast. You can also do by time, okay? So for example, it rebalances every 12 hours for, you know, or 12, eight, one day, every three days, for example. Or when you don't want the bot to rebalance too often, you just go longer. So when to use which? I mean, if the market is moving wildly, threshold is probably better. If you just want a consistent rebalance schedule, just use time. Yeah. But rebalancing can keep, keep it in balance. And then advanced settings. Here you can set take profit and stop loss for the entire bot. Again, not trailing stop. This is general stop loss and take profit. So if you take profit, yeah, you can set it anywhere from 1% to 10,000%. That sounds crazy, but it's simply an upper limit. So if you ever hit that target, the bot closes everything. Um, most people set much smaller numbers, of course, like 20% or 50%. And then stop loss. Stop loss is obviously very, very important. Here you can set, again, 1% up to 99%. And it's basically, you know, stop the bot if I lose more than this percentage. Um, so for example, you might say, stop me out at 20%, yeah, um, take profit at 50%.
And why would we want such wide ranges? Now, again, every trader has different goals. Some want very tight risk control. Others want to let traders uh, trades run for several weeks or months. You know, Bybit lets you define it based on your own strategy. Yeah, There isn't really a right or wrong here. It really depends on the market. Uh, it depends on which contract of which coins you're actually trading and so on. Um, now, once you've set contracts, you know, leverage, investment, trading stop, rebalance, and, and advance rules, you can simply click on create now. And from that moment, the bot runs automatically based, based on your choices. You see everything here. Confirm. Create it. And now the bot is created. It takes me to that page and I see it running. I can terminate it here. So you see, if you make a mistake, you can easily terminate it. Confirm. And it's gone. Okay, I have no running bots. So yeah, so th this this is a bot that gives you a lot of flexibility, but also more responsibility. I think it's very important. Start small, test carefully, and learn how the bot behaves. Um, yeah, and, and again, um, let me know if you want to see more tutorials. Uh, a lot of you liked the trading bot tutorials, but I think we have covered the basics at least. Let me know if you want more advanced tutorials. Um, spent a lot of time with bots in the past. Haven't had so much time to do that in the recent past, but you know, if, you, if you're interested, let me know. Um, we at MCO, we work together with Bybit. Bybit is one of the largest crypto exchanges in the world. If you'd like to try this combo board or any other of the trading bots, you can sign up with a link below. Um, with that link, you'll also get a 10% discount on trading fees for the first 30 days and you support the project here. So again, that's it for today's walkthrough. If you found this helpful, let me know in the comments and again, tell me which bot you want me to cover next or which strategy and tutorial. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.